All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. So this video should have been a part of the Moon Palace Resort tour video, but we made it a separate one instead. This was really an excursion. Yes, you heard me. We took a side trip. Sorry, I mean we took a boat trip via catamaran cruise to Dunsboro Falls while staying at Palace Resorts, Ocherius, Jamaica. This trip is operated, or is operated by Real Tours Jamaica, and the price we paid covered for our pickup and return to the resort. Refreshments, which were mostly only alcoholic drinks, were provided. We also received complimentary patties on our journey back, returning after we climbed the falls. Options for purchasing food at Dunn's River was also provided, but that was organized ahead of arriving there. We were driven to this location called Mahogany Beach in Otrius, which is described as a subtle public beach area, which is also free. Here we met a lot of tourists coming in for the same kind of excursion trip because it was a central point or dock for the boats on which we would disembark out into on our adventures. So prepare to meet a lot of people if you ever come here. All right, we're finally here on our way. Let's get to that ride quick enough. Hope it's going to be good. We want to enjoy a good boat ride. Looks like this is the entrance. Covid protocol, sanitize. A lot of toys here. A lot of different rides, yeah. Guess we're sorting on the ride now. Mm -hmm. No, not you guys. Remember you're Jamaicans. <laughs> oh, you're speaking to the oh, okay. <laughs> Going from here, I only want to hear this accent, okay? Bloody hell. <laughs> Are you blind, mate? Look straight ahead of you. The blue tights. The white lady. Blue tights, white lady. Yeah. Where? Oh. That's what you need. She's, she's, she's good. She's sexy. Oh. You're probably not Somebody seeing what I'm talking. Time. Probably not seeing what I'm talking. Yeah, I think it's kind of tough. Though. I got a British accent. You hear that? I'm not talking American to you, boy. Yes, eh? Dun, 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 This place was hidden in plain sight. We always drive by, drive past it. A lot of toys over here. <laughs> Do you know what country is this? <laughs> Mother looks like daughter in front of you, straight ahead. Or they're probably sisters. <laughs> you can ask them see if they're family or I mean, well, there's no doubt they're family, but. Oh, I'm gonna ask them, I'm gonna say to them. Excuse me, sorry. You guys look really alike. So I said to my friend that you're no, we're fully booked. mother and daughter. Okay. I don't know. It's like I know it's and Oh, I know what it looks like. Shame old lady. You remember Shame old lady? So this tree you can use it for your body you good. Yeah, but I'm to have a Russian accent. Then I'm going to have a Russian accent. 
It seems we arrived too early, man. It seems we arrived too early. Oh, man. I will be here in time because it's both one way and it's 12.30. Yeah, I'll go down. Okay. Let's check what's down here. So, as you can see, we spent some quality time waiting. It was like a pre check in area before heading out onto Mahogany Beach. The environment was pretty lush, filled with verdure, tourists and locals alike. There was also a little stream that flowed down into what seems like a small pond filled with maybe exotic fishes. On Mahogany Beach, you can expect you can expect to see a dock with different boats, crowds, depending on when you get there and loud music. <laughs> we had to wait a, a bit longer here as well, so my Jamaican friends and I waited under one of the small huts until I took a little walk down to the beach area. All right, so here we are. Beautiful beach at the dock. Clear water, crystal clear. Near Turquoise, near Turquoise. Looks pretty nice. Feeling pretty warm right now, we'll chuck right in, but since I'm going to Dun River, Duns River Falls on a boat, I think I'll wait. Yeah, I'll wait. So after waiting a bit, it was finally time to board the catamaran. Going along the pathway, you can see my Jamaican friend taking interest in the local aquatic life within the area. I did a general walk around the boat to see what it was like, how many persons were on and trying to build that vibe up, just from what I saw. <laughs> this type of tour trip usually accompanies a lot of people and the prices can go for like 100 USD or more per adult with a guess from the top of my head. If this isn't your go-to flow, there are much more private and premium excursions depending on the nature in general of what you want to do, but most likely will incur a lot more in terms of costs. But this tour trip was just okay for us. It was celebration focused for us really. I enjoyed capturing all that I could as the boat progressed further out into the ocean. A few other persons could have also been spotted capturing the moment. <laughs> And if you're wondering what those orange jackets are for, it's a part of the tour's operating procedure to equip weak swimmers in the orange live vests and more experienced swimmers in the blue one. It is a part of their operating procedure to warn us about the risk involved whilst swimming, even though they accompanied us in the water, but only about two of the tour operators versus a lot of, real, a lot of tourists. So you have to be really careful and exercise caution and be smart, not brave. I took the, the orange one because I can only float on my tummy. So there we were, enjoying the ocean waters a bit before progressing even further to Don Servo. So here we are, the back of the boat. All the great swimmers in the world, it seems. Jamaican flag. And a little boat out of there. Some tourists. So here we go.
something? No, it's clear them out. Just put it on there, sit 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 there, Pretty deep. <laughs> Be careful now! That's on the water view. So we're finally here, Dunzero Falls, Ocherese, Jamaica. Twonging, he's trying to twang. Yes. <laughs> Blue waters, pretty nice waters. We're gonna climb that falls. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go. Alright, let's make our way to the falls. Let's go. On arriving to the beach at Dunsborough Falls, we all made our way off the boat to another pre-checking area where we were ordered into groups to climb the falls and were also assigned a tour guide. I think the assignments and groupings were also done as a form of check-in at the end of the day just in case anything was supposed to happen. Just saying. I partnered with some beautiful ladies from the United States. The tour guide assisted us on our journey to climb the falls, which was approximately 600 feet. We employed certain tactics of holding hands and exercising caution following the best possible route to take upstream so that we could complete it within 30 to 45 minutes, give or take. There was a subtle competition there to be the first to reach the top, but don't worry, we still took our time in climbing. We didn't do anything that would come at the expense of something bad happening. I would suggest if you plan on visiting here, be careful of some of the rocks and water. They can be quite slippery if not sharp. And bring your water boot, follow your guide, 
your guide's suggestion if you have one, or just follow others who seem like they're taking the safe route up. So on returning to the boat, we received those complimentary patties I spoke about in the early part of the video, as well as more alcoholic drinks. Jamaican rum punch to be precise, as you can tell the vibe was wonderful coming back, the music was lit. Of course I removed it from the video to avoid copyright strikes, most of the content of the music was copyrighted. We all danced, had a good vibe, listened to some good music on our way back. In summary, I will leave the experience for this excursion at great. We returned back to Mahogany Beach where our driver awaited us and took us safely back to our resort. Thanks again for watching everyone and we will see you again where the next journey takes us. Peace.